Figured I'd do this video, probably piss some more people off again, but man, it's like, dude, I don't even really try to piss people off. I just try to be honest with people and they don't like the truth. It's kind of like Jesus, right? Hey, people didn't like Jesus for speaking the truth. So, you know, sometimes people aren't going to like me, but if they knew my heart, they would understand that this is coming from a place of love, but this is just things that I've seen in my perspective. So you can go with it however you want. So listen, the truth about these make money online programs, I think they are super beneficial. I think they are really, really good. Um, what I've noticed though, is last year, okay, uh, I stopped really promoting on Facebook, okay? You guys should already know if you've been following me for years. I used to be like the Facebook guy. I was always on Facebook, constantly promoting, constantly promoting. And one thing that I learned was when I really started kind of doing TikTok and learning how to attract people to me, it felt good. It's not that I didn't know how to attract people on Facebook, but you still had to do some aggressive marketing too, right? Like you had to, you had to do some attraction marketing on Facebook, but you still had to do aggressive marketing too, meaning you had to go and like get new friends or join new groups or, um, you know what I mean? Uh, engage and all this stuff. And it's not to say that you don't engage a little bit on TikTok or you don't engage on Instagram or things of that nature, but your content really does more of the heavy lifting than anything else compared to Facebook, where it was like, it had to be your content. Plus it had to be all the extra work that you were doing. Right. Long story short. Um, so last year, you guys already know I was in a program that I was doing really good in and I, uh, went back to Facebook and I was like, Hey, I was like, man, yo, this is fire. You know, you, you got to join me. I'm killing it over here. Right. And one of my posts, everybody was hitting me up information, 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 boom, like, like just shoot, like just, I mean, I'm talking about, I had like leads coming in for days. Right. And then, uh, I think about a month or two went by. I mean, I was posting a little bit on Facebook. I was still really repurposing my content over there. But I wasn't making one of those like posts like, hey, you want information type posts, right? I was just repurposing my content. And then all of a sudden, I was like, all right, let me do it again, right? So I repurposed my content. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I made a post and shit blew up again. And I was like, hell yeah, more leads, right? Well, then when I went back, I was noticing that it was almost all the same people, right? And then there was a time where uh, I went to Facebook and you know, because now they commented on your stuff, right? So it'll also show you like other posts that people comment. Those same people were commenting on other people's posts, talking about their business, still asking for information. And it dawned on me, it, it started, I, I knew this already, but it was really hitting me, right? Now, I started talking about how people just don't take action. All they do are info seekers, right? And that was one perspective, right? And, and it's a true statement. There's a lot of people out here that they don't have a lack of information problem. They got a lack of application problem. They just won't go apply themselves, right? And, and learn that, hey, guess what? You know, you're going to like some of the things that you do. You're going to fail at some of the things. Like I used to do drop shipping, right? I mean, now, I wouldn't really touch drop shipping with a 10 foot pole. I'd rather be on TikTok shop. You know what I mean? But, you know, at one point, I was doing drop shipping. I had a drop shipping store with a great, great friend that turned into um, a wonderful connection. In fact, I still talk to him. I saw him in Las Vegas, right? So, um, you know, so a great connection. Unfortunately, just we just didn't have the right um, business model to take us where we wanted to go, right? But, anyways. And that's okay. You live and learn. And that's okay. That's fine. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that last year really opened my eyes up to certain things. And then the fact that I always kept hearing people, you know, really, really putting their limiting beliefs out. Like, I, I, I'm not technical. I'm not technical. I'm shy. I'm shy. You know what I mean? You know, like whatever they were using as an excuse. And all those might be true, right? It's just they were just using it so much that they were letting it defy them, right? Meaning like, oh, I only wanna do faceless marketing. You suck at making videos, but I only wanna do faceless marketing because I'm so scared, right? So I, I started also noticing it's like, I respect the fact that we make products to solve problems and give people what they want, but I also feel like sometimes it's just like, damn, you know, I'm also catering to your insecurities and not allowing you to really grow. 
And then that's when it just really dawned on me, guys. These make money online programs. In one program, I had this automated system that housed four income streams. I thought it was phenomenal. I was having $2,000 days. And then all of a sudden that owner switched that system, changed all the income streams up and made everybody else repay for the new income streams. He made a bukus of money. And guess what? I just felt like, like shit because one, it was totally out of my control. There was nothing I could do about it. And two, the people that I were bringing in, they literally spent all this money to then literally get you know, to have everything change and we're asked to spend even more money. I felt like dog shit. Then one of the programs that I was in, uh, I also noticed that everybody was relying on this one person to give them content every single day, give them content, right? Give them ideas, take care of everything, give them ideas and take care of everything. And it started to dawn on me guys, we're not becoming self-sufficient. How the hell do you expect to build a business for yourself when you can't be self-sufficient? I will not go out like that, right? When a lot of people always ask me, you know, hey, why did you change from this to this and all that stuff? And guys, I'm, I'm not making videos knocking shit, okay? I, I respect everything. But when I tell them I outgrew it, they were like, they're like, their mind is like, what? What do you mean you outgrew it, right? Like, like, they're not understanding that it's like, yo, at some point, you can have people fish for you or you can teach yourself how to fucking fish, right? And I don't want to let those limiting things. See, most of these people that join these online programs, they think they're building skills, but they're not really building skills. Very true. If you can learn how to market one thing, you can learn how to market others. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not going to sit there and say that those programs didn't allow me to learn some skills along the way. I respect that. But did you really become self-sufficient? Because here's the thing. What I noticed was when those programs go down, guess what? Everybody scatters looking for another program because they haven't really learned to build a legitimate business that is going to, you know, that no matter what happens, they're going to be strong no matter what. Number two, they haven't really learned a skill on how to develop maybe their own automated system or build their own storefront or anything of that nature. You know what I mean? So if that automated system goes down, they feel like they're fucked, right? Like I remember when System.io was changing some things about their email marketing and everybody fucking shit at a brick. And it's like, yo, like, what are you talking about? This, this is the, this is business. This is business. Even if you have a brick and mortar business, every now and then, right, there is going to be some problems. Every now and then the government's going to come in and say, hey, we want a new law or, or you have to change this or whatever. It's a fucking business. You have to understand. And then last but not least, I've seen other people rely on a person to bring them money on a person, a fucking person. If that person stops promoting the business that you are promoting, what are you going to do then? What the fuck are you going to do? You're going to like shit a brick because you haven't really learned any skills. So the whole time I thought I was helping people, but I was basically lowering them and not really building them. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and like, that's why I don't write like, you know, really make money online programs anymore because I am not saying that some people haven't made a lot of money with them. I am not saying that some people haven't learned some skills with them. But the majority of the people, they don't because they're just looking for the money and just looking for somebody to help them, right? Just looking for how do I hurry up and just make some money, but you haven't really learned a skill that's going to build you a sustainable business to where... You know what I mean? Like, I mean, do you want to make a lot of money, leave your nine to five only to go back to your nine to five because that shit crashes and you haven't really fucking learned any skills? No, that's not what you wanted. You wanted to learn how do I really legitimately make money online and turn my little side hustle into a real business that I can rely on because I have my skill and no matter what the market is doing or no matter what is going on, that I will build a sustainable business, right? It's kind of like, 
Once you learn the foundations of storytelling and documenting and sharing your journey and everything, it doesn't matter if TikTok goes down today. I got YouTube or I got Instagram. It doesn't matter if Instagram goes down. I got YouTube or I got the next um, you know, social media outlet that comes around because I learned the foundations and the principles on how to really market myself and how to tell my story and how to teach people my experiences and what I'm learning. And when you learn those skills, those skills are going to be applicable wherever. And so that's all I'm trying to say is, listen, I'm down for you going to make money online programs, but be leery of it because are you really looking back and saying, shit, if this were to crumble today, will I be okay? Right? Because when I started making really, really good money in a couple of different programs or a few different programs I made really good money in, I got screwed. Right. And then when I came, when I started doing a really, really good in another program recently, that's when I was like, well, damn, what am I relying on? Right. Am I relying on me and becoming self-sufficient in order to fish or am I relying on somebody else to help me fish? And that's when I, I had to switch gears because, you know, and, and hear me out, guys, before anybody thinks that this is going to start a rumor or something. I did not get screwed, but I have been screwed before. And because I've been screwed before, uh, because I didn't and, and not screwed out of just money per se, you know what I mean? But just screwed over the, the fact that I didn't, re I didn't rely on me and my skills and building me up, right? That guess what? When those things went away, I was out of, I, I was out of luck. And that's what's going on with some of you right now. If that person stops marketing, what are you going to fucking do? If that business goes down, what are you going to fucking do? If that little gimmick goes down, what are you going to do? If that little automated system that you think is so fucking cool, what are you going to do? When that network marketing company shits a brick and goes out of money, what are you going to do? Just like a lot of people that recently got into another MLM, right? What happened? That place shit a brick, had to rename itself. And I'm not going to like speak on it because, you know, I'm not here to bash anything, but it, it wasn't really, and I'm not, cause I'm not going after the company. Cause see a lot of people are like, oh, fuck that company. No, no, no. What about the people? They became reliant on that, then reliant on their own skills. Why do you fucking think I sell courses? Why do you think I sell courses and put the power back into the course for you to learn the skill to become self-sufficient? Cause when you're self-sufficient, then it doesn't matter what the fuck goes down. You're going to survive.